This is iFiber One News. Here are today's top stories. The community showed their support for the Moses Lake Library during the Bagels for Books fundraiser. A group of senior citizens in Gig Harbor took a unique field trip to a marijuana production facility. A driver was injured after colliding with a Ride the Duck vehicle in Seattle over the weekend. From the iFiber One newsroom, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Money raised from the Bagels for Books fundraiser on Saturday will help bring new shelving to the children's section at the Moses Lake Public Library. Families packed the Frontier Middle School cafeteria Saturday morning for breakfast and the chance to meet with local authors and Mrs. America, Natalie Lutmer, and hear from the Voices of a New Day Children's Choir. The second annual event is held by the Moses Lake Public Library Foundation, which is working to replace the outdated shelving at the public library. Proceeds go toward completing the installation of new shelving in the children's section of the library. But Foundation Director Tim Furman said some interesting architectural features at the library added unexpected expenses, about $12,000 worth. Furman said it was discovered the HVAC system runs up the back of the bookshelves in a section of the library, meaning the HVAC system also needs some changes to go along with the new shelving. The foundation received some extra help during the fundraiser as Northwest Farm Credit Services presented a $750 grant to go toward the library project. The current shelving was installed when the library opened in 1965 and needs to be replaced. New interchangeable shelves would allow the library to better use its limited space. The entire shelving project is expected to cost about $100,000. This is Joe Utter for iFiber One News. It's a field trip. That's not unusual. But to a pot shop and grow operation? Yes. These seniors are raised in the 50s and the 60s. Marijuana is nothing new. My son had a marijuana plant once. But when 85-year-old Eileen Cohn and her husband found that plant, they yelled and threw it across the yard 50 years ago. I never thought I'd be shopping in a place like this. But Eileen and seven other seniors from South Vista Village Assisted Living in Gig Harbor took a factory tour of sorts at a marijuana farm, processing plant, and retail shop in Soto. You showed up, so wonderful. And what makes it interesting, it was the assisted living center's idea. We don't have any restrictions on it other than the same as smoking. You just can't have open flames or smoke in the building. The only people that couldn't take the tour, Medicaid patients, because the feds still consider pot illegal. Until everything just kind of gets more defined in the state, I think it's better to play it safe. As for Eileen, she bought some capsules. We'll give you a little bit of a high. Is that okay? Yeah. That's okay. Oh, if her son could see her now. He'll be very surprised. <laughs> in Seattle, Matt Markovich, Como News. She just turned right in front of him. Depending on who you ask. I know she turned in front of him. You learn who's at fault. The duck went to go change lanes and just hit the center of her car and spun her right in the middle of the road. Both Matt Hannaford and Darcy Kelly say they saw the accident. Darcy was on board. We weren't, just weren't going very fast. A passenger on the two and a half ton attraction. I just watched her do it and I thought, and I heard the crunch and I was like, she just turned right into him. Matt and his wife Paige were driving behind the now crunched Kia, talking about the what ifs ingrained in their minds from two years ago. We were just talking about how, like ever since the Aurora Bridge thing, you know, like I'm uncomfortable driving around ducks. I was like, it's fine, babe, it's okay. Like just let it be. He was like getting worked up from them. I was like, it's okay. And then it happens. And I was like, no way. The Hannafords say the duck boat pit maneuvered the Kia. The Kia was kind of in like the duck's front blind spot. Kelly blames the Kia. The Hannafords say the duck boat. Oh my gosh, I was terrified. The driver of the Kia, identified by Seattle Fire Department as a 65-year-old woman, had minor injuries to her hand. She was taken to the hospital and the tourists. They were transferred uh, without incident to another duck. It makes me nervous to drive next to them. Even though it may have some contemplating the worst. On this road, it's so narrow anyways, and these ducks go along here all the time. And so I know I'll be cautious around them because of what we just saw. Overall, the accident, says Seattle Fire, was just that, an accident, not a tragedy. 
From the iFiber One Weather Center, I'm Jeff Slakey taking a look at the basin's forecast for this first week of spring. Mostly cloudy for your Monday in the mid-50s. We could see some rain off and on for Tuesday. Moving into Wednesday, near 60 degrees with a slight chance of rain. Should be clear on Thursday in the mid-50s. Little bit of rain likely on Friday, but this upcoming weekend looks pretty good. Saturday and Sunday, both clear in the mid-50s. For iFiber One, I'm Jeff Slakey. This is iFiber One News. For more information on these stories and other news, visit us online at iFiber1.com or check us out on Facebook.